Hello, in this video I'm going to solve a few problems related to horizontal projectile and projectile motion at certain angle. Okay, angle theta where theta is between 0 degree and 90 degree. Let's start with horizontal projectile where we drop an object from a certain height that is our SY. Okay, so for horizontal projectile, the initial Velocity at the y component must equal to 0 meter per second as there's no motion at the vertical component. But for ux, it will be the value that we apply to our object. Okay, so the question might ask about sy, sx, t, and also the velocity of impact v. To calculate the velocity of impact, that is v, we need to find the value of vx okay, and vy. Okay, since the velocity has x and y component, then we can apply theorem Pythagoras to find the magnitude of v and we apply shift tan vy over vx to find the direction. Okay, now let's solve question 1 where we have an object launched horizontally from a point 50 meter above the ground, an obstacle of height 30 meter where it passed over and located 20 meter horizontally away from the launching point so we need to sketch the situation first okay so we have uh, the initial height that is 50 meter and it passed through an obstacle of 30 meter okay and the distance of the obstacle to the initial point is 20 meter so it asks to find the initial speed okay so how to calculate the initial speed Okay, we know that for horizontal projectile, okay, ui equal to zero. So this means the initial speed is equal to the speed at the x component. So we can let u equal to ux. So based on the kinematic equation, we can use sx equal to ux times t. Rearrange, we get ux equal to sx over t. So first, we need to find the time for it to reach the obstacle by using sy equal to uyt minus half g t square. And since we have our sy, we have our uy and we have g values. Okay, so sy is the height from the launching point to the point where it pass over the obstacle so it will be negative 20 so this negative refer to the downward direction and ui equal to 0 so we can just cancel ui times p so we left with negative 1 over 2 g t square substitute all the value so we get 2.02 second okay next substitute t equal to 2.02 second into the initial equation for ux that is ux equal to xx over t so we get ux to be 9.9 .9 meter per second okay so this is the initial speed next b the time taken by the object to hit the ground so this is our t so we need to use sy equal to ut minus half g t square okay so substitute negative 50 minus half g t square so we get the value of t to be t equal to square root 50 over 4.905 so we get 3.19 second okay for question c it asks to find the velocity when it reach the ground okay so for this part we need to remember that the velocity has x and y component so we need to find okay our x and y component before we apply it in the equation of theorem Pythagoras and the direction of shift tan vy over vx okay so let's first find our vx so we know that vx equal to ux equal to 9.9 .9 meter per second second we need to find our vy Okay, so we use vy equal to uy minus gt and uy equal to 0. So we left with negative 9.81 times with 3.19. So we get 
So we get negative 31.29 meter per second. Okay, then we substitute into the equation for magnitude of velocity. So we get 32.82 meter per second as the velocity when it reached the ground. And the direction of the velocity will be 72.44 degree from the positive x axis. Okay. Next, we move to projectile motion launch at an angle theta. So this angle usually from 0 to 90 degree. Okay, so we launch it with an initial velocity of u. Okay, at an angle theta. Okay, so this u need to be resolved into x and y component. So the component that adjacent to the angle will take cos and opposite to the angle will take sine. Okay, this means ux equal to u cos theta and uy equal to u sine theta. Okay, so the maximum height where the object can reach is scored as maximum point. At this point, by must equal to 0 meter per second. Okay, and the height from the maximum point to the ground we label as h and the point from the starting point to where the object hit the ground is called as sx okay let's move to the second question where we're going to apply what we know in projectile motion launch at an angle theta so here the angle theta is 45 degree and the initial speed is 100 meter per second so we need to sketch the situation first okay so Catch the situation, we have u equal to 100 meter per second with an angle 45 degree to the horizontal. Okay, so we need to find the time of flight. Time of flight actually refer to the time taken for it to reach the ground. So list down the information, we have u equal to 100 meter per second and this u need to be resolved into x and y component. Okay, so we need to resolve both component so ux equal to 70.71 meter per second and ui equal to 70.71 meter per second and our sy okay if you want to find the time for it to reach the ground so since it's go back to the initial point where it start so sy equal to 0 meter and we have ui equal to 70.71 meter per second so we can apply our sy equal to uyt minus half gt square. So we get the time for it to reach the ground to be t equal to 2uy divided by g. Substitute all the information given. So we get t to be 14.42 second. Okay, next continue with question B where it asks you to find the maximum height. Okay, maximum height involves the y component. Okay, so the time to reach the maximum height is half of the time taken for it to reach the ground. So we can just divide 14.42 with 2. So we get t to be 7.21 second for the ball to reach the maximum height. So we apply a h equal to uyt minus half gt square substitute all the information given so we get the maximum height to be okay 254.84 meter height okay and question c it asks to find the range okay range involve the x component so we can apply as x equal to u x times t substitute all the information that we have we get 1000 19.64 meter okay let's look at the final question where we have an airplane has a speed of 290 km per hour diving at an angle 30 degree below the horizontal okay so the distance from the release point to the ground is 700 meter so first we need to convert 290 km per hour to meter per second so this is the step Okay, so from this conversion, okay, we able to get the value of the initial velocity to be 
80.55 meter per second. This velocity need to be resolved into x and y component. Okay, as shown in the video, where u x equals to 69.76 and u y negative 40.2 at meter per second since it's directed downward. Okay, now let's solve question A, where it asks to find how long the decoy in A. So we want to find our T. So the information given, we have SX equal to 700 meter. We have UX, okay, the one that we have resolved just now, that is 69.76 meter per second. Okay, so we can use equation SX equal to UX times T. Okay, so rearrange the equation, we get T equal to SX over UX and substitute all the information and we get 10 seconds. Okay, so next for question B, we want to find the height of the release point that is our SY. Okay, so first we need to write the information given in the question. Okay, so we have UY equal to negative 4 T point 40 point 2 at meter per second and we have T 10 second that is the time for it to reach the ground. So we can use equation SY equal to UYT minus half GT square. Substitute all the information given and we get the final answer to be negative 897.46 meter. Okay, the negative sign refer to the downward direction of the displacement. Okay, so that's all for the video. Don't forget to subscribe.